Beach.com. Right now I'm doing beach reports with a twist. I'm here out on Hollywood Beach and I'm going to be showing you the gorgeous water while at the same time who knows what could happen. I could do beach shout outs to some people that I find out here or we could just uh, see some people playing volleyball. So it's going to be really fun. Stay tuned. Whatever we'll be doing, it'll be fun and all about the beach. And I'll top off every segment with an awesome business in Hollywood that you guys can come visit next time you come. The beach is packed today with locals and tourists alike. I chose this spot because it's right in front of one of my favorite bars, Bonnie and Reed's. Bonnie and Reed's is a super awesome bar that you guys should go to to get a refreshing drink after spending your day on the beach. It's one of my favorites and it's just a great place overall. All right guys, so I'm here now with Jamie and I love your bar. It's really nice and beachy and really cool. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here and uh, to support the, the beach. All right, so now uh, again, thank you for letting me ask you these few questions. And so uh, you do seem like the type of guy who would own a pirate themed bar. And what is it like to own a bar on Hollywood Beach? This is a, a slice of paradise. I've, I've been all over this country. Uh, Venice Beach, California, Huntington Beach, Myrtle Beach, the Jersey Shore. But that is the definition of paradise and it's a it's a pleasure coming here every day and I, I absolutely couldn't ask for a better area to, to own my own business yeah Hollywood Beach is beautiful and on owning owning a business is like the American dream like it's it's so and especially with this view you guys will you guys will see it now but this place is I, I'm like so blessed to have grown up here because I think it's just a beautiful place too it is a it is a slice of paradise definitely so Bonnie and Reed's is a really unique name where did where did it come from Bonnie and Reed's came from a TV show. Uh, we were fortunate enough four years ago to be featured on Spike TV's Bar Rescue. And John Taffer looked at the inside of the bar and the patina that we had in the how old everything on the inside is. It used to be a summer home. Uh, Bonnie and Reed actually were two female pirates from the late 1700s, early 1800s that used to operate out in the Caribbean and when they got into trouble and needed a break they used to come here to South Florida so he thought it was very apropos to uh, name it after those two fine pirates and here we are today telling the story. Well wow, it's actually really cool it's I, I never would have thought that it had like so much like history that's really awesome. All right, so if I were a tourist uh, coming out from somewhere else and I came to visit Bonnie and Reed's, what do you think is uh, your signature dish and the drink that I should try? I feel that the popularity of our drunken clams has to be one of our, our featured items. We've been cooking it the same way for many years. Um, Drink-wise, the frozen drink is the representation of, of the tropics. Uh, our rum runner is a very good drink, but if you're a shot person, we've made Jägermeister famous here at Bonnie and Reed's. And we sell it by the tube, and people have a lot of fun with it, and there's a lot of sharing and camaraderie. You buy a, 10 tubes and have one and pass it out at the bar and make friends, and uh, have a lot of fun doing it. All right, well, that's awesome. Well, I can't wait to try it when I become of age. <laughs> Well, you mentioned before that you were uh, featured on Bar Rescue, and I heard that, like, I know that that show is really edgy. So, what was it like to film? It was rewarding and challenging at the same time. It was 10 days of filming from early in the morning to late at night to have it chopped down into 44 minutes. But it was an experience for those of us that got to participate in it. It is something that I'll never. Uh, I'll never forget and if I was given the opportunity to do it again I would not even hesitate I would do it again in a heartbeat it's been rewarding for us to have the opportunity to do that all right well that sounds great well as I'm sure Rick has told you see my beach is funded by community support and he said that you did uh, love that about us so what is it like giving back to the community through our program well I, I am all about what's going on here in Hollywood we are in the process of preparing right now to um, go green, as it would say. There is a lot of um, damage happening to our oceans and our, our beach. We were, we were lucky just recently to have the uh, Sea Shepherds in for some maintenance and got the chance to hang out with some of those folks and learn a little bit about what they're doing. And what we're about to do on the beach with no plastic and no styrofoam and 
trying to keep this as pristine as we can. And I'm happy that uh, to be part of this organization now because my funding to you is going to go right back to the beach to help uh, keep this exactly the way that it is and we see it now. All right, well, that's awesome to hear um, because of my nonprofit, that makes me just really happy to see that you guys are going to be focusing on uh, reducing your use of plastic, and that's great, and that just makes me really happy. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to interview you, and I'm going to go in and check uh, the bar and just your entire restaurant in a little while, and it was just such a pleasure to be interviewing you. Well, thank you very much, and I am happy that I was here and was able to answer some questions for you. Enjoy yourself inside, and thanks again for uh, making me a part of this. Anytime. Isabel, I'm going to interject one little quick thing going to our organization. It's, it's, it's a fantastic thing. Yeah. I'm certainly concerned about that as well. Yeah, so uh, my organization is Help and All Litter, and it does exactly that. Uh, I help to rid the world of litter. And uh, what we do is I have, I focus mainly on um, children, and uh, I have chapters all over the keys of kids that go and clean up, and they have taken a pledge to clean up some litter every day for the rest of their lives. And so that's what I do, that's my nonprofit. And so to see that you guys are working on uh, going more green just makes me really, really happy and really, that's really great. Well, I, I wish you lots of luck with your endeavor also. Thank you. All right, guys, this is the inside of Bonnie and Reed's and it's really cool. You can see a lot of their pirate decorations. So let's just look around. And I'm pretty sure that is Bonnie and Reed. Oh, this is dumb. You know, the other thing, we're behind the scenes with Isabel. You know anything that makes this song better? What? Whoa, it's Saturday night. Uh. <laughs> the dumbest chorus in history on a song. Sorry. Do you the think so? Roller. What are these guys called? The Bay City Roller Panic guys. <laughs> Don't throw shade, they're my favorite. I know. This is what I love them. I decided to stay here at the Coral House. <laughs> Smell you on camera. This is Lavello's trap. <laughs> Isabella, what's up? Nothing. So, much. so what you think about the the you know the day just in general, hanging out in Hollywood? It's our first you know real. We're really getting started here. It's gonna be something special, right? Yeah, I love Hollywood. I've been coming here since I was little, and to now be uh, promoting it and just like making it you know a better. <laughs> my presence makes it a better place. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been waiting for you the whole time. Yes. It's all good now in Hollywood, Isabella's yeah, here. Yeah, just, just to be able to be able to promote it and just make it more popular and just get the, the word out there to people, it's great. Yeah, it's a really cool place. We're going to be doing some new segments here. and um, One is called Discover Hollywood. That's going to be a really cool thing where we learn and teach people about stuff to do in Hollywood. We're doing beach reports with a twist. Yeah. It's going to be different than a normal one. We did one today with our new customer at Bonnie and Reed's. Bonnie Reed's. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, that was great. His name is Jamie, really cool guy. And then we're going to be doing... 10 Gator Bites. Yeah, it's yeah, Gator Bites yeah. and Virgin Rum Daiquiri. Virgin Rum, rum Runner and rum. Strawberry Daiquiri. Your mom had Strawberry Daiquiri. And then I had, and I had, the I had a Mojito and that was good. Mojito. Everything was good. All right, well, so we're going to go do... Right now we're going to go do a little video at Charnow Park. Yes. That's part of what we do is we do positive things in the community. So yeah. uh, when people spend money with us, we go do stuff to promote their community. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So people who support us, good. People who don't, bad. <laughs> See, that was reinforcement from Isabella. Because that's how we do what we do. All right, take care, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. And we're here at the Coral House Hotel. What? Keep watching. Keep watching. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, Keep, stay tuned. Stay <laughs> tuned. And when you're finished with this, and Isabella's just doing doodles, and yeah. uh, we have plenty of these doodles if they're ever worth anything. Yeah. So the next thing, let's show them the courtyard that's outside that's really cool, too, okay? Right. Before we head to the next place. All right. All right. We'll rock and roll. We'll rock and roll. Isabella behind the scenes. Getting in the lines, right, girl? Get in the lines. Are we gonna cut it here? Where is it? Where is it at? Welcome to Seattle Beach to Discover Hollywood, where I'll show you all the great places to go on your next beach vacation. Are we gonna cut it there and then do another? Because you're gonna start walking after that. Yeah. So we'll start right right outside the place here. You know, right outside. Okay. So we can show the outside of the building, and then we'll walk to the beach from there. Okay. And then I'll kind of catch you walking Wait, on the beach no. as you're talking. No, wrong. Huh? Wrong. Wrong. Okay, look. 
this, right? This part, welcome to CIBeach.com, yep. discover Hollywood, right? Yep. And then here is sitting in courtyard. So we're gonna do this part, right? Welcome to CIBeach, discover Hollywood, and then we'll cut it, and then I say, I'm your host, and blah, blah, blah. What do you want to say? We're gonna do the all in one. Uh, just do it all in one. Okay. Then I think that'd be the best one. Then let me just keep going over a little bit. Okay. For another second or two. Right now, but that was cute. Yeah, I know. Do it now? Oh. I can't do it now because I'm laughing. Hey, no recording. I can't do it anymore. I'm laughing too much. I was right just now. trying to get Isabella's hey. grandmother on here. Grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> that was a roast. That was a roast. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Uh,